Hello everybody and welcome to my source presentation on neutral face expression recognition and the big five personality traits. My name is Miranda Roseman and I'm a student in my senior year as a psychology major at Central. I am working alongside Dr. Radicke and Dr. Stahelski in presenting research on personality trait inferences made about neutral face expressions. This study was conducted in a survey format supported on the Amazon Mechanical Turk platform. 716 participant responses contributed to the result analyses. The participant population is made up of 63% females and 36% males, with the majority of respondents being white as 74% of the total, followed by 10% black, 8% Hispanic, 6% Asian, and 0.4% native. Previous research done on facial expression recognition serves as a foundation for our current study. Based on research done by Murphy in 1993, we conclude that the emotion on a face must be recognized before appraisal can be attained and that cognitive primes such as categorization and perceptual prompts produce significant changes in these judgments. Along with Hester's research in 2019, we conclude that when a female is labeled as having a perceived resting negative emotion, for example, when the neutral face is labeled angry, they are seen as less attractive and more threatening. However, males that exhibit perceived resting negative emotion appear more threatening but no less attractive. Additionally, Albon and Adams found in 2003 that neutral faces of older models are labeled with more negative characteristics and emotions in comparison to young neutral faces. This indicates a bias against older individuals regardless of their facial expression. In this study, we looked at four neutral face models under two conditions of age and gender. The study presented still photographs of old and young, male and female models to participants, followed by a prompt to identify which emotion the model displays. We want to know if someone believes that a person's face is angry, for example, rather than neutral, does that change the way they make assumptions about their personality? Incorrect emotion labels include anger, disgust, fear, happy, sad, and surprised. Neutral, neutral emotion is the correct emotion label. An analysis within each condition and the accuracy of emotion labeling would be analyzed for differences in personality trait perceptions. The Big Five personality traits, established by Goldberg in 1992, measure the model's agreeableness, conscientiousness, emotional stability, extroversion, and openness, which were first collected in a 4D adjective Likert scale format, then combined to fit the five personality traits. The results of the study show that across all model conditions, participants labeled the neutral expression correctly as neutral 73% of the time. Between genders, male models were identified accurately more often than female faces were, which aligns with previous research on the topic. Additionally, through a chi-square analysis, it was revealed that younger faces are in fact identified correctly more often than the older faces were, regardless of the gender of the model. MANOVA analyses reveal that between young and old model conditions, there was a main effect of age. Young neutral faces were perceived as more introverted, agreeable, and less conscientious than old neutral faces. As for the gender conditions between the male and female groups, there was also a main effect. Male neutral faces were perceived as more extroverted, agreeable, conscientious, emotionally stable, and open than female neutral faces. Including all models of young and old age in male and female identities, there was a difference in personality perceptions when people recognize the face as neutral compared to when they recognize the face as any other emotion, such as anger, disgust, fear, happy, sad, or surprised. When participants correctly identified the face as neutral, they perceived the face to be more agreeable, more conscientious, and more emotionally stable than when the neutral face was given an incorrect label. We see a significant interaction between the age and gender models on the extroversion ratings, but no significant interactions between age, gender, and accuracy conditions. Future investigative directions include tracking eye gaze patterns and occurrences of expression mimicry in facial motor unit research to learn more about the cognitive patterns that contribute to face expression appraisals. Thank you for attending my presentation.